This is British track and field athlete Perry Shakes Drayton. Three years ago, Perry was one of the world's leading 400 meters hurdlers. But after suffering a serious knee injury, she was forced to rethink her track future. Now, 27, she's made the decision to focus solely on the 400 meters flat, and she's aiming to get back to the top of the athletics world in the years ahead. To find out more about her, Transworld Sport caught up with PSD in East London, where she lives and trains. So how my weeks look, I have about um, two days of really tough kind of sessions where you see I'm on the floor. Um, do my running sessions. Um, we do circuits like twice uh, or three times a week. Once a week, I'm always in Loughborough. You know, I've got my team up there, I've seen my physio, the doctor, if I need the doctor. Loughborough's a bit too quiet for me. A London girl like myself, I do miss, you know, the sirens and whatnot was going on. <laughs> Chris Zarr is Perry's coach. They've been working together since she was 11. Could I say I love her? And I do, because we've been together for years and we really know each other. So we know when each other was in a bad mood. She knows when I'm in a bad mood. I know when she's in a bad mood. But I think we enjoy working with each other. As a youngster, Perry excelled in the hurdles event. In 2007, she set a national junior record whilst claiming silver at the European juniors. Perry was 23 when she started to make a real name for herself. A month before the 2012 London Olympics, she recorded a personal best time of 53.77 seconds, putting her second in the world rankings for the year. She also became the second fastest British athlete of all time behind Sally Gunnell. The following year, PSD trained harder than ever. She took the indoor season by storm and was hopeful of a gold medal at the 2013 Outdoor World Championships in Moscow. I mean, I was feeling on top of the world. You know, I won my heats, I won my semi-finals. I was like, okay, Perry, you've got to come home with a medal. You know, you're just looking good. Unfortunately, running over the first hurdle, I felt something didn't feel right. But being the athlete that I am, you know, with adrenaline as well, determined, you know, I kept going. Everyone was kind of confused. I was confused myself. I was like, what has just happened? Flown back to the UK that night for hospital scans and tests, Perry discovered that she'd torn her posterior cruciate ligament and cartilage in her left knee. It was understandably a distressing and uncertain time for her. It was really set for a medal at the World Championship, and the worst we was going to get was silver. That was the worst, because we was going there as like, number two in the world. And bang, it was taken away from us. Gutted, yeah. Perry had to undergo surgery, which resulted in months of intense rehabilitation. At times, she seemed low, but listening to music sound lifts her spirits, and just being supportive, you know, and reassuring her that maybe you won't get back on the field, but there's other things you can look at. But she was determined, you know, I will be back. And she's got things to do. Like she always says, I haven't finished me job yet. She's got things to do. I think one thing that got me through it a lot was knowing that athletes do come back from injuries, right? Another thing that kept me going is that I was like, I just got started. And then I started to realise how good I am as an athlete. I've got a lot more of a positive kind of um, in, uh, look out, outlook into life now. You know, you've got to be happy outside athletics. You know, I can't make the track rule me, but it does contribute to my happiness. The injury has made her appreciate what phenomenal athletes she is. And I, I believe everything happened for a reason. And I will get her back. And she's a hard worker. And I will get her back. Upon her return to training, Perry was advised to drop the hurdles event due to its gruelling impact on the knee and concentrate exclusively on the 400 flat. She'd shown her potential to be one of the world's top quarter milers in 2013 when she won the European indoor title in Gothenburg in 50.85 seconds, the fastest indoor time in the world that year. From 
back in the days, from when she was young, I've always said she needs a two event. So four flat, four hurdles, so she has to be good at both. But in the end, she's good from 200 to four flat to four hurdles. But that was my backup in case anything did happen, and it did. Um, I do enjoy doing the 400. I've got a pretty decent, you know, uh, flat time. Um, and I'm actually looking forward to the, the new challenge ahead. Hi, Trans World Sport. This is Perry Shake Straighten, and welcome to the PSD Residence. Perry regularly uses social media sites to share what she's up to with her huge army of fans. Recently, she's been getting involved with various sporting projects, including a collaboration with a company where Perry teaches a series of Train with PSD classes around London. She's also had the opportunity to get in front of the camera, and it's no surprise that her charisma has captured the attention of the BBC. One of the perks of being a professional athlete sponsored by Nike is the endless amount of shoes that I get. But the difficult part is deciding which pair to wear. A few months ago, Perry competed for the first time since 2013 in a relay event in Germany. Running in that race was a very proud moment for her. It was a smile on my face, actually, when I'm watching it. Perry has chosen to opt out of competing over the short term in order to prevent a recent quad problem from worsening. Instead, she'll turn her focus to the 2017 World Championships held in her backyard, the Olympic Stadium in Stratford. I oh, please God she goes all the way and just gets what she wants out of it, you know? I mean, even if it's not reaching, getting a gold medal in her hand, I know that she just enjoys running. So however far she'll reach, she'll reach where she wants to be. She loves training, and any athletes that love training will always make it. I really believe that, yeah. You do talent alone, just don't do it. You have to enjoy coming here five, six times a week to really make it, and that's their strength. Well, my PB's 50.5, right, for the 400. If I ran close to that right this year, I'll be like, well, I'm smiling, like, you know, happy days. Um, who knows? how far or how fast PSD can go. Um, I think time will tell. Me.